Paragon versus Predecessor. Which one is better? And why are there two? Paragon was a game that Epic Games created before they made Fortnite, but with the success of Fortnite they decided to pretty much abandon Paragon and focus on Fortnite. Epic Games then gave all the assets for Paragon for free on their Unreal Engine so that any game studio can make a similar take on Paragon. It consists of heroes to defeat your enemy team and their core. Both these games are in early access, but both have very key differences. The main menu for Paragon is much more clean and finished, with several options which include the store, profile stats, hero animation, ranked and private matches, as well as daily missions. Predecessor, on the other hand, only has the options to play a quick match, look at hero icons with no animation, and items. No ranked, store, or daily missions to keep you coming back. Predecessor does not also have daily login rewards as Paragon the Overprime does. Gameplay wise, I truly prefer Predecessor gameplay. It seems more balanced, easier to get into, and gets straight to the point. Paragon gives you a tutorial, but when you play the game there's so much more to take in and learn. And for an early access game, I feel like it's just too much, too early. Like I just want to play the game, slowly introduce me to new features as the game is completed. As of recording this video, Steam for Predecessor has very positive reviews. Released December 1st, 2022. I have it in my library, which I've been playing for a bit. I've been playing for 12 hours. It is an early access game. You have bundles that you can buy, which are fairly cheap. The most expensive one goes up to around $30. Predecessor has been communicating excellent with their players, giving us a roadmap of what we will be getting, an end of season rewards, feature plan to release during season, and other various things including skins and store accessibility with coins and other things that we can do while playing the game. Paragon, the Overprime on the other hand, has a mixed review with 4,000 reviews. So this is half, I mean this is double the amount that Predecessor has. This uh, released December 5th, 2002, so four days after the other one had come out. I played 4 hours of this one, I couldn't really play that much because the game looked like washed up colors and again the game playing. The recent news and announcements have been pretty well, giving us a lot of notices, um, which is pretty good, but not giving us a, a roadmap of what they plan to do. Paragon is free to play, you do not have to pay for anything, but the store does include currency that you can buy to buy skins, it is not a pay to win game. Predecessor does cost to play, which comes out around $8 to $9, and you can also include a little bit more from $15 to $30 as the recording of this video to get more skins, more features, and so on. So what are your thoughts? Do you plan to play this game? For me, it has a special place because it, I used to make a ton of videos on the game, but was disappointed that Epic Games abandoned it. And to this day, on my old channel, it has one of my most viewed videos, which is Paragon gameplay. I had a ton of fun playing Paragon. And for me, I'm glad that there are two. That means more competition between the two studios, which gives me two games to enjoy than just one. I'm gonna, of course, be playing some more of this game. This is just like a quick overview of what the two games are offering. I will be uploading some gameplay for it. And if you guys wanna stick around to watch some Paragon or even Predecessor, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Of course, I'll be playing other multiple games, including Modern Warfare and other games I just feel like uploading, to be honest. This is just like a the channel to have fun with. I'm not really going to be too concentrated on one sole game all the time. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you in the next one.